Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Sam and I've got an unboxing. I also have a pretty cool plant in here that I'm pretty excited to unbox. I have a pretty cool plant in here that I'm pretty excited to unbox and I don't think y'all would be suspecting or expecting, I should say, what's in this box for me. And then I have three more plants coming from another shop. This is going to be, yeah, an unboxing video haul, whatever you'd like to call it. Some of you may be thinking, is she only posting hauls and unboxings now? Like what's going on? Maybe. I don't know. Yes, I would like to look over all these pots here. Oh my goodness. What a mess. <laughs> just, just look over that. Have some other types of content to come like chores and just showing you guys different plants and such that aren't just new plants, but I have a lot going on. Okay. We're just going to get right on into it. Um, where are you from? I already took the label off. I can't remember. I'll put it on the screen. Um, but this is a really cool plant that does not look like it's from the genus that it's from, honestly. And I love it. And I mean, it's not that odd for me because I do collect this genus of plants. I always have loved them, but I haven't gotten this genus of plant in quite a long time. So I'm excited. Okay. And I'm really excited for the rest of them that are to come. A nice little mashup of different plants that I'll be unboxing. Nice packaging right here. Okay, how do I get them out? Hold on. Oh, she put, there's a heat pack. It's very warm in here and toasty. Nice. Okay, here's our plant, I think. This is our heat pack. All right, a wee babe, but that's okay. The shop is Bronx Plant Lady on Etsy. Come on, baby. Sorry, I'm getting a first look and it is gorgeous. Wow. Kidding me? Wow. Wow. I cannot believe it. This is Peperomia elongata. Peperomia, do what? Excuse me? Okay, I'm noticing a few things that's a little bit concerning. I'm gonna have to do some more research on this plant because that's unexpected. But look at this leaf, y'all. Okay, so in the in the photos, it looked like an anthurium um, or maybe a philodendron, but I was leaning more towards anthurium with the, the look of this plant. Um, but now that I see it in person, I see it's actually very shiny. It's not suede. It's not furry at all. It's not velvety. It's very thick and succulent and shiny. Like, look at that. I mean, and it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven leaves. And then this little tiny one. So technically eight leaves, really good size. I just have never seen a peperomia like this. I love peperomia, but I don't like the more like dainty, thin leaf peperomias because they require much more attention and watering or they just completely, they're very dramatic. But I have several more thicker leaf peperomias that I've had for years and I love them so much and they're much easier than the thin leaf little dainty peperomias. So in my mind, I feel like this one I can keep alive and thriving because it is a thick leaf, you know? But look at that. First thing I'm noticing, especially on this leaf, 
you see the black? It's not even browning, it's black on the tip. Well, I'm noticing it's not really on these littler leaves. This one looks like it's been cut. There's a tiny little bit on this end, but all of the other leaves, yeah, the tips are black. That's a little concerning. So I'm going to have to do some more research on this plant because I don't know if, oh no, the growth points broke. That sucks because it was packaged really well. But there's a teeny tiny little growth point right here and it's completely snapped. Unfortunately, I might reach out to the seller actually just to ask this from shipping damage. I mean, it wasn't in the mail very long at all. What is up with the black tips? I'm a little concerned about that, but it's beautiful. That silver, the silver veins, it's not even coming across on camera like it does in person. It's very, very pretty, very nice. I will be back in a few days to unbox three, I believe it's three more plants. We'll see you in a couple days, y'all. Several days later. Hey y'all, welcome to Friday. It was Monday when we got my last plant, now it's Friday, and the rest of them are here. Now, this recliner, my little kitty cats really like to lay on, so there's a bunch of cat hair just floating and flying around everywhere if you see it. I'm just, hmm, this is what it is. I actually just got a new vacuum cleaner, it just came today, because ours is just not, it's done. Um, so I'm gonna be vacuuming all the furniture and just like, just ignore the cat here. That's what I'm saying to you. Okay. I'm excited. I've been waiting all day. For some reason, UPS never brings me my packages until after 4 p.m. So, first of all, I don't remember where I got this. I'll put the name of the shop on the screen and I'll tell you in a moment, probably. Oh, it says Jenny Sprouts LLC. I don't know if that's the actual shop name, but the whole entire box is encased in insulation. That's nice. We like that, even though it's been warm. Um, it's been really nice, but you just never know. The weather's been so unpredictable. Three plants in here. To actually destroy this because this is good stuff and it's not cheap. I don't know when I'm going to be shipping out any plants though, so whatever. Oh, I can try not to cut my finger off. Jay is going to be walking in the door at any minute from work. So, oh, come on. Oh. I don't know if this is a great place to film this. I usually sit in the floor, but I want to be comfy because my leggies hurt. They're very tired. I've been up since 6.30 and I have been a busy, busy bee and I've been filming stuff. So you're going to see a lot of what I'm talking about. Working in my plant room, doing so much. And my cats basically have their own apartment, cat condo now. Like literally, I will show you guys. Stay tuned to that video. I moved them out of my plant room. Yeah, they have their own apartment now. <laughs> yeah, y'all know, I hadn't really ordered hardly any plants um, until Monday, Monday's plant, like six months. I don't know, something like that. And even then it wasn't, oh, honestly over the last like year, I really have not done much plant shopping. Um, so, this is quite fun to have some plants to unbox. I don't want to get soil everywhere in here. I guess it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I'm going to be so embarrassed if, if I go to edit this and there's just like thousands of little cat hairs flying around everywhere. I mean, this is literally their chair. I don't know if you all can see all that cat hair. It's really disgusting. I'm going to clean it. Okay, stop judging me. I'm going to clean it. All right, hold on here and well, they printed out my name and everything very cute hi samantha genie genie sprouts or jenny sprouts and then it has a bunch of care tips and 
Yeah, pretty cool. Oh, look how cute you are. You little cutie. They're not labeled. The paper feels a little wet. Look at that. And they're in pots. Cute. Maybe I've never ordered from this shop before. I don't know. Here we go. Welcome home, little baby. I have no idea who this is yet. Okay, now I do. I have wanted this little cutie for so many years. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Look at his little babies. Oh my goodness, I cannot do this. a good specimen. Look at that. All right, y'all. Look. It is a white ghost euphorbia, if you can't tell. I have wanted this plant for years, but they're, they've always been like $70, $80 for a little tiny plant. And I just could not bring myself to do that. I just could not bring myself to pay that for something that doesn't even have like foliage, you know? Um, but I do love them. I admire them in everyone else's collection. I have to link this shop for you guys because the prices were incredible. I gotta tell you the prices for all these because y'all are not gonna believe it. I believe it was $23.99 or $24.99 for a white ghost euphorbia. These are still going for $50 and up. Okay, my local plant shop that I frequent often, they have some of these for they're a little bigger than this. They have a couple of different sizes, but for anywhere between $60 and $75. So under 25 bucks, and look at that. Like half of it is all white right there. And then you turn it around and it like, it's just so interesting. So I'm really excited to finally have this little cutie and have an opportunity to grow him. I hope he loves me. So cute. Moving on. Okay, let's set him. Hold on. Ooh, this is so fun. Oh, my little owl down. My little owl buddy. I almost took a sip of the euphoria. <laughs> now that spring's basically here, I'm going to do some more plant shopping. I am. I am. I am. It's time. I want to be. I'm like working right now to replenish my collection. I have a lot of empty shelf space. I've lost a lot of plants. I've gotten new shelves. I'm like redoing my plant room right now. So this is like a really nice mashup of different plants. This entire haul from the first one we unboxed to these three, all different genuses. It's beautiful. Paper smells like not bad. It just has a smell. Okay. You guys are gonna be like, what? What what happened? So I have to tell you what happened after I show you. It's the biggest one I've ever seen in person. I know you guys are gonna know what this is already. It's a little turtle. Fill it in your tortum. Y'all, I lost my baby tortum that I got like two years ago, whenever they're like a hundred bucks and up. Little tiny little baby starter plant. It was doing so well. It tripled, quadrupled in size and i was keeping it in a ziploc bag and it got it got like not this big but the leaves were like getting like this long doing great and then somehow the bag the ziploc bag that this little guy was in um got knocked off and under a shelf this has happened to me before and totally forgot about out of sight out of mind and then one day a couple months ago it just dawned on me like it popped and i'm like you know who I haven't seen in quite a long time? My philodendron tortum. And right then, I immediately knew that it was bad. I knew it. I went on a hunt to find philodendron tortum baby. And I did indeed find philodendron tortum baby. And it was indeed bad. So he was got, totally gone. I'm telling you, it was like three months, okay? Gone. I was devastated. All that work for what? For nothing. To kill it. 
So I've been wanting, I mean, honestly, I was wanting to, wanting to get a larger one anyways, just because it can take, and that was a fast grower, but it can, it still can take quite a long time for these plants to size up when you get them that teeny. Um, so I was kind of on the hunt. If I found, I noticed the price is coming down over the last year. And I was like, if I find one for a decent price, decent size, I will go ahead and get it. I was planning on getting another one anyway, but then I seen this for 25 bucks for this four inch pot. Good size. What? So, you know, I had to get it. And it's so cool that I found like all three of these plants at the same in the same shop for great prices. Like it's just beautiful. It is pushing out a new leaf right now. I am so excited. Oh, this plant is so cool. It feels so cool. Wild fern, honestly, her plant collection has influenced me to purchase so many of the plants that I have. When I first purchased the little starter tortum, it was because hers. I was in love with her so much that it just like, yeah. So, okay, let's see. Last but certainly not least. That's fun because two of these plants I have never owned before. Well, actually, I think three. So, um, it's like my first time growing them, my first experience with them. It's fun. I think we can tell at least what family he's from oh he's so cute again i think this was also 25 dollars four inch pot now this little beauty is Anthurium. oh that's a new leaf it's like not hardened off yet oh it feels so good this is Anthurium crystallinum i'm pretty sure right yeah i don't think i've ever had a crystallinum i could be wrong i have a hybrid maybe two crystallinum I think but I've never had a crystallinum that I can think of so and it's like one of the most basic I guess you could say types of anthurium like it's usually one of the top I don't know three anthuriums that houseplant enthusiasts will start their anthurium collection with like you know whenever they first when they first introduce anthuriums to their home and I've been growing anthuriums for years now. And I don't think I have ever had a crystallinum. Like I said, I think all of these plants were around $25. I'll make sure I put the prices on the screen if anyone's interested. And they ha this shop had quite a lot of plants. And all of the plants, like more uncommon plants, all of them were really, really reasonably priced. I mean, I was just like, this is amazing. So... Look at that new leaf, so pretty. So he got four leaves, if we count this little itty bitty babe right here. Four leaves, so good. They all look beautiful, beautiful. Look at them. And then the Peperomia, I can give you a little update on her real quick, but oh my gosh, what a fantastic haul. Am I right or am I right? I mean, I'm just over the moon. But I forgot how insanely fun it is to unbox new plants. My goodness. Okay, ignore my pimple patch. I'm breaking out so badly. I don't feel like you can really see it from back here, but up close you can definitely see it. It's a pimple patch. Um, okay, here's our Peperomia elongata. So, update. I was concerned because there was dark um, black rims around the leaves. It's very, very subtle, but it does kind of go almost all the way around a couple of them. So I was very concerned. So I reached out to the seller and sent photos. I'm like, hey, I just don't know if this is normal or not. If, I don't know if this is an issue or not is basically what I said. And she got back to me very quickly and she said, hmm, hmm, I've never seen that plant do that before she said i would check the roots just to make sure they're all good so of course that's what i did it was very easy literally just pulls right up out and the roots look really great and healthy it has uh, an extensive like hefty root system obviously peperomia roots are very like dainty and webby looking but uh roots look great so and it hasn't 
the browning, it hasn't progressed at all from what I can tell. It still looks exactly the same as it did whenever I pulled uh, the plant out of the box. So I guess it's good. My assumption, it has to do with the heat pack. From the research I've done, it doesn't like a lot of heat and humidity. It was wrapped up really well, but they, and there was a heat pack in the box. And when I took it out of the box, I could feel the heat escaping, like the heat coming up out of the box. Like the whole inside of the box was very, very warm. So I really think it's probably just a reaction from that, from the heat pack. But it's doing great. Otherwise, what a fun group of plants that I have gotten. All right, I'll have B-roll on here for you guys. Um, I'll take some clips of all these beauties with the flash on up close, all that good stuff. But I am one happy lady right now. Very happy. So, yeah, that's it. Let me know if you have any of these plants, what your thoughts are, all the stuff. You know what to do. Thumbs up if you like it, please. I'm trying to, like, get back in the algorithm's good graces. <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.